best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Now a whistle, and Orlando is going to use a timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Entering the game for the Indiana Pacers, number seven, Malcolm Brogdon. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Defensive foul. And he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. And hits the first free throw. And he makes them both. Oladipo into the front court. The lead is 15. Ah, can't miss those. Isaac to Gordon. Miles Turner snatching it out of the air. Just incredible timing on that slot. Oladipo, now a steal as the Magic have it. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Isaac to Aaron Gordon. The Magic with four to shoot. Deep left corner. Short jumper. Won't fall. Oladipo into the front court. His guys hold a commanding lead. A great defense there. Forcing the pickup. It goes down. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Orlando Bowl. It away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. Deep three at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter with the Pacers way out in front. So the Pacers with the basketball to start the fourth quarter. And it might be time to empty the bench, Jay. This game appears to be well in hand. And their starting five has certainly earned the fourth quarter off. They've been terrific this ball game. And this is the type of game where you find a chance to relax. You ice up, you watch your other teammates play, you applaud them, and you get ready for the next game. throws good as they continue to widen their lead. Grant with the basketball. He'll run the offense. 
Iwandu picked up by TJ Warren. A couple of cracks at the line now. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Wesu Wandu at the line for two shots. For his career, 72%. First one goes down. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Hey, watch this screen left. He was smothered and still gets it to go down. This is why I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. And he's going to the free throw line. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Gordon, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 69% at the line. First one, count it. Substitutions, Indiana. Substitutions, Orlando. So he hits the first, misses the second. In the game for the match, number eight, Terrence Ross. To Gordon. To Vucevic. Miles Turner sends it away. That's his third block this evening. Indiana with the basketball. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Augustine with it up top. Down a bundle to Aaron Gordon. Driving right to the basket. And the reward, he's going to the line. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. And he connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two. It's Indiana basketball. Victor Oladipo with the slam. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Won't go down. Rebound belongs to Indiana. Hold the depot into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. It's a big finish. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight.
Time for some new personnel into the game. Number one, Jonathan Isaac. Return label included. Offense might want to adjust here. That's his fourth block of the evening. Isaac. Won't go. To Brogdon. Off the assist. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Five to shoot for Orlando to Fournier. Fournier, better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. I hear so many players talk about, oh, my skill set is this, or my skill set is that. How about your skill set is your effort on the defensive end? That's something we don't talk about as much as we need to. Doesn't have the touch. No good. This one to the Pacers, as they win this one in blowout fashion. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Favorite Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Pacers put on a show in a blowout. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Indiana Pacers. The Magic really lost big in this matchup, and you could tell it was tough on them. Losses like this become main discussion topics in the media. So hopefully this team is ready to answer the tough question. It's not gonna be fun. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Orlando Magic. Game track. Field goal. The Orlando Magic were terrible with their shooting, and I'm pretty sure that's not news to anyone that's out there. What will become news, however, is if their poor shooting starts to create turmoil within the team. Player of the game. When you see these highlights, it's easy to see how this guy earned the award. His impact on the game wasn't lost on anyone. What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. Take a look at the remaining games. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up.